am dipping in to, oh my god, are you serious right now? It fell right in my trash. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day look. I did a Valentine's Day get ready with me last year which I'll link down below if you guys are interested. My husband and I just went rock climbing last year and I kind of might have went a little bit too glam for that but anyways that's besides the point. We um, ended up doing a tutorial this year since we had, since I do have a little bit of time left I'm hoping I can get this up before Valentine's Day. This is the look that I obviously ended up doing. This is a pink pink cut crease and I'm digging it I'm digging it if you're interested in seeing how to achieve this look then just keep watching started. let's get started as you can see I've already done pretty much all of one eye still have not done the lashes yet because we're going to be trying out some new lashes today and I am going to demonstrate how I achieved this cut crease right here on this eye I'm going to start off with this shadow palette it's pretty much a mixture of Morphe and Makeup Geek shadows. All these shadows you may pretty much already have, so you can just incorporate what you have, so you don't have to go out and buy anything, but um, it is it is an option, so I'll let you guys know what shadows I'm dipping into. Start off with this super big fluffy brush, it's a Morphe M517. Dipping into the shadow Swine and just putting that in my transition. And this is going to be just a shadow that is very similar to your natural skin color. I should zoom you guys in. I'm taking this Makeup Geek Stiff Dome brush. Don't mind it. It's been through some, you know, some years. <laughs> and dipping into the shadow Caramelized. And then I'm just going to put that over the area that I put um, the transition. So we're slowly building up. We're not just going with a super dark shade and packing that on there. We're going to slowly build up to a deep shade. And those last two were Morphe shadows, but now I'm going to be dipping into a Makeup Geek shadow, Cocoa Bear. I'm going to be applying that over the transition area as well. I'm going to go in with this Makeup Geek shadow, Mocha. Hit that towards the bottom of the transition area. You don't want to bring it all the way up to the brow bone. Blend that out. And you can see it's just going to transition from like a darker to lighter brown. And then we're going to start with a cut crease. Going in with this e.l.f. eyeliner brush and the NYX full coverage concealer in the pot. This one is in 04 beige. I'm just going to dip it in there. I did this eye first because this eye has more lid space when I open. Sometimes when I've done the cut crease in the past, I didn't judge my cut crease even enough and you could see this cut crease but you couldn't see this one because like when I opened my lid space was a little bit thicker. I have uneven eyes because back in the day I got bit by a dog and it messed up one of my eyes. I can't even remember now but anyways that's another story to tell in a later later video. So I keep this one open, I look at it, and then I perform the cut crease. Perform, like I'm doing surgery. <laughs> Just guesstimate where to begin, and then I just start to outline. I'm just going to fill in my whole lid. I usually stop the concealer right where like I put the wing. Because anywhere below that you really don't need shadow. It's also going to act like a base for your shadow that you're gonna lay on top of that. So once that is completed, hard part's over. <laughs> Going in with this Urban Decay shadow brush and this pink matte shadow. And this one is in Pretty in Pink and this is a Morphe shadow. 
these Morphe uh, individual shadows are actually pretty good. When I start to pack that in, I pack it in where that cut crease starts. And then I just start filling in that whole area. A Morphe pencil liner brush and then back in with mocha start from the back and then follow that cut crease and just start shading that in and I don't go all the way to the front because I don't want it like super harsh up front but I just like lightly ombre it out the main dark area is this wing area I definitely want to like emphasize some depth. I of course start blending that shadow up just so it kind of has like a gradient effect to it. This is the um, black shadow in Corrupt. Do the same thing, but I don't necessarily blend up. I just mainly stick to the outline. And that's what's going to give it that like deep end look. Of course, I don't go all the way down. I kind of just stop right above the eye and just gradient, gradiently just like put it out. Kind of blend that area out. Just so if there's like some super harsh lines, you're still able to just blend that all out. Now I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner and this one is in 108 crystal pewter it's like more of like a lavendery purple and I think like the pink and the purple is definitely Valentine's Day appropriate it's just gonna line just like the inner middle part of my eye when I do that I just very light strokes just outlining the cut crease once I start getting to this middle part of my eye I just kind of let off the brush. That just helps with blending the eye look together. I'm just going to go back in with this shade right here. Hit that on my lower lash line. Go back in with this shade right here. Hit that in the lower lash line as well. As for the liquid liner, I'm going with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is, of course, the black one. tricky part is getting both of them to look the same. just gonna line that on the outer waterline and then just kind of greatly put that in so it's gonna be more of like an ombre just like this guy. Kind of clean up the shadow and the wing on this eye. I'm just taking whatever's left on this concealer brush, clean up that wing and clean up that shadow. Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. This has actually been one of my favorites lately. I think Jordana's 12-hour um, made to last eyeshadow crayon pencil in Continuous Almond. And then I'm going in with this shade. This is in Shimmer Shimmer. And this one is a makeup peak shadow. And hit that in the inner corner. A baking on my face. Maybe I should take that off. <laughs> so now that the cut crease is all said and done, we are going in with the lashes. For, as far as the lashes go, I have not tried this type before, but I've been super, super excited. Of course, I had to support your girl, Nicole Guerrero, and get her um, Eyelore blogger collection lash and this is the one in hashtag 143 I wanted to do these kind of together just to see how they look I have not tried them I have not opened them yet I am dipping into them right now here is what they look like super dramatic and I feel like they're like honestly perfect for um, a Valentine's Day look yes holy crap okay 
I'm just gonna measure this off to see if they fit my eye and it looks like it is. I'm just gonna cut just a little bit. Right, they're starting to get tacky. One thing that I can say about the lash is it's very, very flexible. It has ridges in it, so it fits your eyelid very easily and comfortably. I love the way they just immediately conform to my lid and they customly fit my lid very nicely. Bind them with some mascara to seal the deal. And super dramatic and glam on the eyes. We're just gonna tone it down with the lips just to kind of pull the whole look together. I'm going in with the Too Faced Melted Matte and this one is in Cool Girl. Alright, so now that the eyes and the lips are all done, here is the final Valentine's Day look. So that is everything for this Valentine's Day look. If you guys enjoyed watching, please like this video. And if you have any questions about the look, just comment down below. Let me know what's up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. I will also list my Twitter, my Facebook page, and my Instagram around this area. And I'll have everything linked down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.